Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to manufacture biodiesel, the biodiesel foil. I'm going to explain the whole process in full details. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, for the first time ever, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also consider dropping us a comment below. What is it that I'm going to show you on this video? I'm going to show you how you can manufacture biodiesel, okay? What is biodiesel in the first place? It's actually diesel, okay? They call it bio because the synthesis is made out of natural element. So what are the ingredients that you need to produce biodiesel, okay? We need three main ingredients, which are methanol, caustic soda, and oil, okay? Uh, for the alcohol, you can actually use methanol or ethanol, okay? It works. You can produce biodiesel using methanol. You can also produce biodiesel using ethanol. But experiences have shown that biodiesel made out of methanol burn more than biodiesel which are made out of ethanol, okay? Biodiesel made out of methanol has a beta diesel now means that it bends better than biodiesel that is made out of ethanol. That's something very important you need to take into account, okay? Then um, we said that the other ingredient is caustic soda, okay? And then we also have oil. Any oil can be used as long as it's clean oil, okay? Uh, why are we insisting that it should be clean oil? You need to know that glycerol or glycerin is a byproduct of the biodiesel fuel production. So if you make use of dirty oil, you're going to obtain dirty glycerin. Okay? So it's advisable to make use of clean oil. Any oil as long as it's clean. That's it. So let us write this down, okay? Uh, before going further on, I'll first state the ingredients on the board. For you, then I have them here on me. Then I'm going to present you the ingredient. Okay, let's start by stating the ingredients. So the ingredients are, as we said, methanol or ethanol. Okay, but it's advisable to use methanol. I just gave you the reason why. Then we have caustic soda. Okay, and then oil. Okay, the most common one is vegetable oil. Any oil as long as it's clean oil, okay? That's it. So these are the ingredients that you need to produce bio diesel, methanol, caustic soda, and then oil. That's it, okay? I do have these ingredients here with me. This is our methanol, as you can see, okay? Caustic soda, here it is. I'm presenting the ingredients to you. Is this your caustic soda? I'll just show you on the close camera. Okay, when you do this, make sure that you wear Googles, okay? Because when caustic soda enter into your eyes, it can lead to blindness, okay? You need to make money, that's true, but also consider taking good precautions while working on these chemicals, okay? That's it. So this is caustic soda and then oil. I'm just showing you, okay? No matter the amount. So these three ingredients here are enough for the production of biodiesel. That's it. Now you have a better idea of the ingredients, okay? I'm going to actually give you out some few proportions on the amount of ingredients on making biodiesel, okay? Here it is, let's say making biodiesel. Making biodiesel. You can consider these proportions, okay? You can consider having, let's say, one liter of methanol. That's it, five liters of oil. That's it, and 80 gram of caustic 
disorder. Okay, by doing this, you produce about six liters of biodiesel fuel. As you can notice, the amount of caustic soda is very little when you compare to the amount of other two ingredients, okay? Here we have one liter, five liter, but we only have 80 grams of caustic soda. Why? The amount of caustic soda should be actually low, okay, or small. Why? Uh, if you put a lot of caustic soda, uh, you'll be producing soap, okay? Because caustic soda and oil actually produce soap. Then I'm going to give you another proportion of making biodiesel, okay? Here we go, let's say making biodiesel. You can consider having 50 ml of methanol. This can also work. Then 200 ml of oil, okay? Then 4 grams of caustic soda. Okay, by doing this, this is about 250 mils of biodiesel. As I just said, that uh, glycerin is a byproduct of the biodiesel fuel production. Okay, these are the ingredients that you need to produce biodiesel fuel. Okay, as I was saying, it's not a matter of just mixing ingredients. First of all, you need to know that. You cannot dissolve caustic soda into oil, okay? So what is it that you do? You dissolve caustic soda into methanol first, okay? Then you take that mixture, you come and put it into hot oil, okay? You have to heat the mixture uh, below the methanol boiling point. The temperature can range from 50 to 60 Celsius degree. That's it. Okay, and then after that, you need to leave your mixture to actually cool down. Separation can be done within 24 hours. Okay, when you come back after 24 hours, you, let's say if I've produced biodiesel or I've put it into this container, when you come back after 24 hours, you'll actually get two layers. Okay, you'll get glycerin or glycerol on the down a layer, okay, and your biodiesel fuel will be on top. So you can actually have a draining system whereby you can actually, let's say, open and then get glycerin. And it's advisable to do this using a, a transparent container, okay, so that you can actually be able to see the two layers and then do the separation. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. As I always say that there is a lot to learn from here. Trust me. Make sure that you like our videos, share them, and also consider suggesting the channel to people you know with the interest of learning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and see you on the next video.